So, we are playing an Otome game called Yojinbo. Yojinbo is a samurai based game made for girls. You're basically a girl who gets surrounded by tons of big pretty men. And girls like this because the weeb girls that play these games are forever alone and, well, it makes them feel not forever alone because it feels like they have friends, guy friends, lovers. You play the role of Sayori, a brown haired Mary Sue. By the way, every girl in every Otome game ever has brown hair for whatever reason. It's always really long or at least shoulder length and it's always brown. Ah, uh, the new Peter Pan game coming out. The character that was blonde actually, so forgive me, that wasn't completely accurate. So, you play the role of Sayori, who is part of the archaeology club in the present world. And she finds something in the ruins because there's a drought going on and the lake levels dropped, revealing the ruins in the lake. Now, she wanders off and she only has about three expressions because this character that she has now isn't used very much because she switches bodies with the princess. So, she finds this crazy necklace and her interest is piqued. It is piqued because this necklace is so sparkly. It's like an ADD child. Now you can choose to pick it up or leave it on the ground, but you still pick it up even if you choose to leave it on the ground for whatever reason. But you get a different ending if you choose to leave it on the ground. You can only get one character's ending. You have to leave it on the ground. And then you have to choose the negative answer for the second choice in this chapter. The next chapter has no choices. But that doesn't really matter. It's a funny chapter. They break the fourth wall non-stop. So, we chose to pick this up. And the club president asks, hey, what is that? I really want some of that because she's a greedy gold digging Jew and um, you don't give it to her so you take it home and um, leave it there on the counter because I mean you don't need to wear jewelry. Who wears jewelry anyways? Um, in the future chapters there's going to be a lot of jokes. This is the introduction chapter that just sets the, that just sets the stage, right? Other chapters just non-stop break the fourth wall, crack jokes about slashing Harry Potter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. By slashing, they mean slashing tires because the ESRB, of course, would ban them. So, we're at home. We're going to bed. We showered. We're whining about our sunburn because we're a Mary Sue and everybody's going to love us even if we whine incessantly. And there's a light soft green glow. Could it be the necklace? So this necklace starts glowing, right? And the ghost of the princess who died in the past asks you to save her. The overflowing rich light. It's it's pretty well written for a game. Um, It's really bad. Well, it's really bad because the company went bankrupt because how many people torrented this game. It's almost impossible to find. Uh, it was a PlayStation game as well as a PC game, and it was one of those digital downloads you buy, they send you the download link, you download, GG. So, our character is introduced to Hatsu Hime, who is this spoiled tomboy princess who don't need no man to be happy. And she asks us to save her. She's from the past, she's calling us from the future, who will see her demise and try to go about it. Now there are a ton of bad endings you can get in this game. At one point, you cannot progress if you haven't bonded enough with one character. So I will instantly be stalking one character because it's the path I want to let's play. And you're going to look at this gigantic stalker Mary Sue, but it's okay. Because every boy loves you no matter what. So here's our next answer. And um, the path I follow requires me to take hold of her hand. I mean, there's this, how do you touch a ghost? You don't touch ghosts. They're intangible. You can't even see ghosts. Well, you shouldn't be able to. So, we get introduced to the next chapter. Big, scary, not be shown in men are chasing us. That means they're bad. If they're not pretty, they're bad. And thus concludes this chapter.